Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. So in today's video, we are going to talk about internships. What is an internship? How you can apply for that? What skills are required? Everything we are going to discuss in today's video. But before that, if you are watching my videos first time, then do subscribe VLSI Point because here you will get all the VLSI related content. Along with that, you can follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn for one-to-one -one interaction. Join our community VLSI Point on Telegram group also to discuss all your doubt with peers. So starting with what is internship? So an internship is a short term work experience offered by companies and organizations to student or recent graduates. Internships can be paid or unpaid and typically last from few weeks to several months. It allows you to gain practical knowledge, develop skills and apply theoretical knowledge into the real world scenarios. Joining an internship will not only enhance your resume, but you may also get PPO that is pre-placement offer. PPO is a full time offer given by the employers to the interns based on their performance. So yes, we can say internships are better than jobs because competitions are very less when you are applying for internships during your second year and third year. However, in case of final year placement, obviously the competition is very high because every student is applying for the jobs. The stipend which you are getting from internships, you can use that for your college fee or you can buy a laptop for you or you can use that for your personal growth. Some students are asking whether they should join unpaid internships or not. So my answer is it depends. If the internship aligns to your area of interest, then yes, definitely you should join because there you are going to develop your skills. You are going to work with professionals. You are building a good network. So eventually that will be beneficial for you. Also, it will create a good impact on your resume. So being a BTEC or MTech student, you should try to apply for internships as soon as possible. But make sure you will develop your skills before that. You need to develop a good network and after that just start applying for internships. Both on campus and off campus internships option are there. So if you are from uh, tier 1 colleges then focus on your on campus internships because in these colleges company come and they offer 2 months, 3 months, 6 months or even 1 year internship opportunities. However, in case of tier 2 and th tier 3 colleges. Uh, you may not get these kind of offers. So in that case, off-campus internships would be the best option. Talking about electronics field specifically, core companies prefer M-Tech students more as compared to the B-Tech students. And the reason is the gap of knowledge. A B-Tech student has the basic idea about the electronics like the devices, the circuits. However, the M-Tech students have the uh, advanced VLSI subjects in their curriculum. So by doing their M-Tech, obviously they will get more in-depth idea. And this is the reason most of the core companies prefer M-Tech students more. But B-Tech guys don't get demotivated. The only problem is gap in knowledge. So you can bridge this gap by developing your skills, by learning some advanced VLSI subjects and the EDA tools too. Make some good projects and yes, you are good to go. So now we are going to talk about what skills are required. What skills you guys need to develop before applying for internships. Starting with the technical subjects. Here I am mentioning some mandatory subjects for all the BTEC and MTEC guys. Make a good command on analog circuit design and digital circuit design. In digital circuits, you can start with the logic gates, boolean functions, then your combinational circuits, sequential circuits and your memory design. For that, follow the Morris Mano book. For analog circuit design, you can start with the diodes, BJTs, MOSFETs, operational amplifiers, filters, oscillators. Microelectronic circuits by Sandra and Smith is quite a good book for this subject. Next is your semiconductor devices. In that, try to make a good command on uh, semiconductor concept, then how the MOSFET is working, MOS capacitor concepts, PN junctions, operation of diodes, BJTs. Neeman, Streetman, Energy, these are good books for the semiconductor devices. Next is your advanced VLSI design. In this subject, you will learn about the CMOS technology and IC fabrications. You can follow Weston Harris, Kang, Rabe. These books are good for the VLSI design. 
along with these subjects proficiency in eda tools is must in that you have spy simulators like lt spice h spice p spice then your eda tools like uh, mentor graphics cadence virtuoso xilinx vivado synopsis icc matlab simulink so try to make a good command on these tools these are industry standard tools and after going into the companies you have to work in one of these tools so it would be better to make a good command in these tools as soon as possible most of these tools you can learn during your btech or mtech curriculum only you may have the uh, lab classes also for these tools along with core electronic subjects and eda tools programming skill is also important you must have the basic understanding of hardware description languages like verilog or vhdl try to make some projects also it can be some basic level to the intermediate level projects with all these one more thing is important which is problem solving and analytical skills so develop a habit of analyzing the circuit how the circuit is performing the operation what issue is there try to debug that try to test your circuit and all these things you can done by performing the simulation on the eda tools coming to the soft skills part so here communication skills teamwork time management all these things are important because eventually you have to work with a team you have to deal with the foreign clients so yes english is mandatory so till now we have discussed what is internship what is the benefit of joining in internships then what skills are required so there i told you both the technical skills and the soft skills now we will see how we can apply for the internship the first and the most important point is prepare your resume and portfolio for resume building i have already provided you a detailed video how to build a resume what points uh, we need to mention there what we need to write uh, first then what is Uh, in the next half of the resume so everything is there in this video so check it out guys along with the resume focus on your online presence that is your portfolio so you can create your personal website or a github repository will also work fine so there are two ways to apply for internships on campus and off campus so for on campus internships you should leverage your college resources utilize your college's placement cell you can ask them which companies are coming whether they are going to offer internship offers or not what will be the duration of the internship what will be the stipend also uh, you can appear in the uh, mock interviews in the uh, workshops to get more uh, experience and to enhance your interview skills along with the placement cell contact with faculties because most of the faculties have their connection with the industries so they will tell you which technology uh, is going to be used in the internship or what trend is going on whether uh, there is any uh, opportunity or any openings are there they will tell you so guidance of your professor and faculties is always recommended coming to the off campus part So guys if you are from a tier 2 or tier 3 colleges then also don't worry you can apply for the off campus internship and for that some online job portals are there like internsala linkedin glassdoor indeed nokri.com so build a strong profile on these portals add some industry related keywords also keep updating your profile and apply in as much companies as possible Internsala is a platform which is specifically designed to provide you internships there you will get n number of internship opportunities so before applying make sure that internship is aligned with your interest and your area some people also post jobs and internship offers on linkedin so you can check that platform also similarly glassdoor indeed and nokri.com So start spending some time on these platforms build a good profile and definitely you will get a good offer from these portals along with that you can visit companies career portal now every company's website has a career page and there they update all the internships and job related uh, opportunities so check that and start applying networking and referrals are something which makes your landing even more smooth try to build a good network 
contact with your seniors ask them whether uh, there is any opportunity for the internships or job in their company you can ask them you can uh, share your resume and tell them to uh, refer you but before that you need to gain their trust you have to show that you are interested you are working on your skills you have that enthusiasm to work in core electronics companies for referrals linkedin is also a very good platform there you can request the employees working on a specific company you can attach your resume also and tell them if there is any opening for the internships or jobs then refer me so these are some ways how you can apply for internships in vlsi different fields are there like analog design digital design rf design mixed signal design verification and validation physical design embedded system power system so as per your area of interest you can apply for the internships in these different fields in our vlsi point community on telegram we frequently forward the job and internship offers from different companies so you can get update from there so this is it guys this is about today's video if you found this video useful then hit the like button and do subscribe it guys do subscribe if you are following my content if it is useful to you i don't know why you guys are not subscribing vlsi point it gives me a motivation to provide you more and more informative content and it's totally free of cost for you guys so subscribe and share with your peers also let me know on which topic you want the next video so see you soon guys